dude, like I don't know what this song is coming from. Dude. We're currently playing with a new stabilizer for the camera. Yeah, yeah, I've had a stabilizer for probably like a year and a half. I've never learned how to use it. But uh, we're gonna try it out today. As you can see, it's already, <laughs> already messing around. Uh, we're also trying out the uh, the CEO pre-workout from Rise, Stella's Sherbert. <laughs> but anyways, this is like the most stacked pre-workout on the market right now, I think. I haven't tried it, it's been out for a little while now. Uh, I'm pretty excited. This is gonna hit me hard. 10 grams of L-citrulline in one scoop. So, this ought to be interesting. Oh my god, this is like the size of a protein scoop. Look at the size of this. <laughs> Dang. It does smell pretty good, smell that. What's the flavor? Sherbert. Mm. Sherbert. Sherbert. I will say like the heavier dosed pre-workouts from any brands always definitely don't taste as good, but we're gonna see. I think I probably should have maybe done more water. First sip. Yo, that is delicious. Have a sip of that. That's pretty good. That is really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I was not expecting it to taste that good. All right, now we're gonna find out how well that stabilizer works in the car. Yeah, oh, don't doubt Gary like that. <laughs> Gary is, Gary is him, low key. Gary actually has a big G on the side of the camera. What's the brand of the camera? Huh? What's the brand of this camera? Uh, G's Incorporated. No. <laughs> um, it's Sony. Gary, it's where, a, where are you going? <laughs> come on, Gary. Yo. It's a uh, Sony A6400. Yo, our neighbors have a Rivian? Those trucks are sick. I wish the screen could, like, come to the side. Oh yeah, without, well, I mean, oh, I see what you're saying, like, actually out to the side, yeah. No, I know, it, it focused on you. Gary's, he's ready. Gary's doing his job? Yeah. You better, Gary, I mean, this is your first shift. <laughs> so, like, you better, you got some big shoes to fill, too. It's either you get it done and into the trash pile. Yeah, exactly. Don't make me, don't make me talk to your manager. Yo, what is this guy doing? What was that? Champ? I feel like I'm just in a constant squint, even when it's like dark out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I feel like we had the same conversation. You could just get glasses. Yeah. You think, well, oh, sunglasses. Yeah. Wait, are you saying actual glasses? No. Sunglasses. Oh. That's because you squint when it's bright, right? No. No. I squint because my future is so bright. Yo, Gary's coming to check me out right now. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Gary's like kind of got a little mind of his own. He just like rotates around, figures out. He's just like sightseeing. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Stop it, Gary. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, yeah, are you using the joystick? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. I can also just give you my phone. Well, I you think can if control you control it from my phone. I think if you center it, like now it's not rotating on its own. I think joystick kind of gives it a little more free range of, like now it's not rotating. Yeah, also I think when you hold the trigger, it keeps it centered. What do you mean? The trigger, when you hold the trigger. Oh. That. I just hold it? Yeah, and like I'm pretty sure when you double tap it, that's what brings it back to center. Okay. Idiot. No. <laughs> wow, I'm not gonna lie. My lips are already, yo, that guy is, dripped out uh, my lips are already tingly from this nah yeah, Gary just does whatever the fuck he wants really? Yeah. damn Gary lock in dude you're like five minutes into your first shift and you're already like causing problems yeah hey, yo would you get over here? <laughs> yo low key I feel like we just start filming at the gym again. I'd, I want to listen to some tunes, you know? Sounds good. i
was a man with dignity and grace Now I'm slipping through the cracks of your cold embrace So oh, please, please Could you feel me? I mean, I'm pretty sure I clicked on it too. Yeah, you yeah. look fucking enormous. Like your shoulders actually like fill out the entire door frame. Well, you know, I'm like a buck seventy-five. That's like a two-year-old. Thing. That's wild. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. So annoying, like being lean. Like the bigger you look, how many are you gonna get here? More than one. I want to see four on your own. Four? Yeah. Four plates? No, four it, reps. <laughs> Oh, you got so many more, dude. Come on. More? Yeah, come on. You got that. Those are moving easy. Come on. Oh. Good more. <laughs> Dude, I just like fried my forearms trying to lift that. Dude, the first four, the first four moved like really easy. I think, I mean, you paused for a long time on the last one. Oh my God, I feel like I just literally developed tendonitis from that. Like, I, as, huh? See, what, what's the difference? Like, how would that make that big a difference? It's like the torque thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I went like this, I was like, <laughs> like, so all all, like, all of that just went right through my forearm. I was gonna play Fortnite this morning and immediately got dubbed, so now I like it again. I've been playing like one game a night with my buddy Garrett, and we've won the one game, so we're like, oh, we end there. Like, yeah, we've just no, been playing one game, stop. win, and then stop. It was <laughs> Everything we're going to use is taken, so looks like we're mixing it up.
is painful, man. show their license plate but Sorry, that's crazy that there's a new hampshire plate in front of us um it's a sign leaving tomorrow morning yes sir back to the sticks Ew. home sticks um i feel though now that you're like probably like, would you say this is the most into lifting you've been mm -hmm. now that you're like really getting into it it's like it is really hard like today was overall probably still a better workout than your past ones in terms Absolutely. of like how much you would accomplish today or like how much you grew or anything like that but it's like once you start having that good of workouts it's so hard to like always have a better workout than the last yeah. one i'm trying to think well the other thing too is like honest aside from like trying to mess around with the camera and learn how to use the stabilizer and everything we also every piece of equipment that we wanted would i mean not that's that true. it made that big a difference no but, but yeah, every piece of equipment i wanted to use that i would normally do ha happened to be taken when i went yeah. to use it that's something i definitely like struggle with getting out of rhythm with like how the way i use machines i've mm -hmm. always been that way if i like can't like sometimes i'll literally sit for 25 minutes <laughs> because i'm like i need to start with that machine yeah which is a waste of time, but. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's the nice part about once you've like lifted for a really long time, like, oh no, that's like ignorant of me to say once you've lifted for a really long time. Eventually you just start like, oh, I can use this machine and this attachment and it's basically the exact same like movement profile as yeah. the other machine, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was kind of annoying, but end of the day, I'm not gonna lie, I hadn't done that second exercise we did, the like the low row, yeah, probably like a month because it really was starting to bother my chest. Mm -hmm. Maybe even more than a month, and that felt good. Like that was like a painful yeah. squeeze in my lats. Yeah, I wish I started way lighter. Yeah, I, honestly, dude, my last set where I did like ten reps of the lower weight, mm -hmm. I felt the same way. I was like, wow, like that felt like I just achieved way more. Yeah, like the first couple of sets, I was like, dude, I feel like all I'm feeling is like my sternum getting mangled. I was just feeling a lot of bicep. Like I wasn't yeah. getting to the squeeze. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, overall, that was a pretty pretty good lift. Like I still, well, I guess I can't really gauge if I was stronger, but I was stronger on T-bar rows because we started with them. Yeah. So that's at the end of the day all I really care about. Plus for the bicep curls, I think last pull day I got like, 35 pounds for eight and then like 35 for five and then today i got 35 for eight and then 35 for seven yeah. so two reps more which like dude for me for arms doing two reps more with the same weight and same form and everything as like three days prior is like a pretty significant jump yeah absolutely for training biceps yeah, arms are a pain, they like never move. Yeah, like that's why I, I feel like I've now seen the most growth from doing like five to eight reps. Cause like once you start going like 12 reps and beyond that, it's like harder to achieve failure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's harder to gauge when you're at failure cause it like takes longer to get there. Yeah. Like I remember I went through a phase on my last bulk where I was doing 
20 repetitions on my leg days. Like, and I actually do feel like I made a lot of progress doing that, but it would get to the point where I was like, I was like my cardiovascular endurance was failing before my legs. Like, and it just made it way harder to like figure out, okay, am I at true muscular failure or am I legit just winded? Also too, dude, like it's been a pretty full, like dude, even for me and I haven't even been like going to work or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm like beat yeah like yeah. i legit need a day off from filming like honestly like it is a lot it's really I'm fun only, i'm literally only filming it you're doing all the editing and shit yeah like it's really fun and i think once we get to the point where it's like automated it'll make it a lot it'll take away from the lift a lot less mm-hmm. but today was one of those days where like yeah. sometimes it is like you know what dude like i really just want to go in there like even whether I'm alone or with you and just like no camera, yeah. no phone, yeah. just put my headphones on and like zone out. Which is kind of cool because I was actually kind of missing that today. I was yeah. like, I'd like to just be in my head right now. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly why most of the time I don't lift with people. Like, yeah, I, I, I enjoy lifting with people from time to time. It is really fun, especially if they like know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to teach them stuff. Yeah. Uh, and like it's awesome having someone to push you and help you with assisted reps and all that and spot you but there's just something about going in there and like truly just not saying a word mm-hmm. not dude just like not paying attention to anything except for like the lift and the music yep i agree i didn't used to agree but now i agree <laughs> told you dude i'm turning you yeah, it's scary. but i'm honestly kind of just excited though to right now just look at the footage mm-hmm. from when we use the stabilizer and figure out like how how it looked yeah absolutely had to fail a little bit to succeed yeah figure it out true the other thing too is like with the filming i think the more you get into like the gym the better you'll get at filming without even working on filming like yeah that's in true. the like the reason that i think i'm I have a generally, or like a decent, I don't know. You've watched the, a yeah, lot of Yeah, videos. the reason that I think I'm okay at filming is because I've watched enough videos and shit now and taken enough videos of myself and pictures that I know what angles look good for each muscle, sort of. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, I do, like, realistically, social media, like, you learn to make yourself look bigger and, like, leaner than you are. Mm-hmm. So, like, I know, like... Well, if I go at this angle, it gets rid of the down lighting and you want the down lighting because that makes you look like shredded and bigger or like arms. Like I know if it's like, oh, if I'm like behind you a little bit and you can only see like the back of your arm, your arm's not going to look as big as here. And like, yeah. so I feel like that stuff also makes a big difference. Absolutely. But that was a solid lift. I don't have another hand. So. Yo, Loki, <laughs> what's his name? What'd we name him again? He's got three names right now, but Gary Wilson and R2. Or Ronan. <laughs> I say we take the day to think about it. Yeah. Sleep on it, maybe. Yeah. Let's go eat some chicken and rice. <laughs>